Hey, 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 okay, welcome to our next training class. So uh, if you hear things in the background, one, that's my baby watching a movie, and two, that's my husband weight training. So um, to get that out of the way, we're going to talk today about uh, understanding the compensation plan for Tava, um, understanding volume points, and then thirdly, we're going to talk about a few don'ts as far as compliance goes. So um, lots of different topics to talk about today. So let's start with the compensation plan. You need to know the way that you can get paid, right? So when I first joined Tava, that was the first thing I did was I looked over the compensation plan. I studied it. I, I made sure I knew how to get to a certain rank and uh, what that pay structure is like and everything. So we're going to go over that now. So let me share my screen with you guys. Okay, so you can go to either your website or you can go just to uh, the tavalifestyle.com website. Scroll down to the bottom where it says explore Tava. And the first line that comes up is compensation plan. Okay, so let's scroll down here. All right, so. Here we go. So um, the first thing it goes over is the five ways that we get paid. It just gives a general overview. So retail customer profits, the quick start bonus, binary pay, excuse me, binary check match pay, and then the profit sharing pool. And then qualifying for commissions, you have to be active. So what means active means between 28 and 31 days, depending on the month, you have to place at least one product, uh, an order for one, at least one product. And that's one product that it's at least 40 volume points. At the time of this video, any of our four products that we have are all 40 volume points, but that could change. Let's say we get a lipstick or we, not that, I don't know what we get, but let, let, let's say we get a lotion or something like that and maybe that's a lower price point, it's also going to be a lower volume point. Um, so you want to make sure that it's not only one product, but it's at least 40 volume points. And whenever you're selecting products over to the right of the screen, it'll show you how many volume points you've accumulated and what the price is that you've accumulated as well before shipping and tax. Okay, so um, scrolling on down from there, um, as far as qualifying for um, team member commissions and recruiting commissions, you have to be binary qualified. So you have to have one person on your left team and one person on your right team, and they have to be active, meaning so you got to be active with your at least one product. They have to be active with at least their one product. And, you know, all of you have to be at least on a 40 volume point product per month. So or 40 volume points in products. So that's what starts it. And then from there, you know, they can get two and that adds to the team, you know, each of them get two and two and two and it grows from there. So that's just an overview. And then um, as far as your sign up fee, um, that is your website, right? So your website is normally $49, but as of this recording, um, that $49 is waived, um, you know, for the first year. And then after that, every year it's $49, which is a steal. Like you don't have to um, you know, manage your website and figure out, oh, what should be on it and work with some website designer, or any of that. They get that, they got that for you. And they're managing your back office as well as your website. So $49 to do that is a drop in the bucket. Moving on, basic terms to know. So there is PV, which is personal volume. So this is what, when you purchase an order from your back office, um, that's what that is. Um, again, as we grow in our product catalog, there could be products that are less than 40 volume points. So you wanna make sure that you're um, recognizing that. And then V is commissionable volume. So that is a point value that's assigned to each type of product. For instance, right now, as of the recording of this video, um, the Valet 30 is 40 volume points, okay? 
the weekly next the weekly bonus period. So our bonus period or our commission cycle goes from Friday morning at midnight all the way through Thursday night at 1159. So whatever you've done for that week, you get paid not the next day, so not that Friday, but you get paid the following week that Friday. So it's like a week in the hole, you know. Um, and then your qualification period. So the pay and pin rank that an associate qualifies for um, is a standard calendar month, which is really cool. I've, I've known of other companies that you have to um, hit ranks every single week, you know, but with Tava, they give you a calendar month, which is nice. Um, and then carryover volume. So that's any commissionable volume. This is once you're binary that, um, you know, you can carry over if you haven't used that for a rank, as long as you remain active. And then associate, um, that means that you have your monthly uh, 40 volume points in orders uh, that you order from your own back office. Active customer, same thing. Um, retail customer, so that's a person that is not enrolled as a distributor and they're buying Tava products from a Tava distributor, you know, which if it's your customer, they're going to be buying from your website. Pay team, um, which the pay team means you get paid on your lesser. Again, you build two teams in Tava, so you get paid on your lesser uh, legs volume. So they call that your pay team. And then your builder team is the leg that has the greater amount of accumulated volume. So some people call this your power leg and then they call, so you got your pay leg or your pay team and then you got your builder team or your power leg. And then um, pay rank is the rank that you have qualified for within that month. Going back up to the top, minimum pay rank is the rank that you is the pay rank that you'll be paid at during a given qualification period. And the highest pay rank is what you achieve in a given calendar month. Um, and it'll be, of course, you know, whatever the minimum is for that. So there are five ways to get paid. So the first way is going to be your retail customer profit, right? And so um, this is where someone goes to your website and for a 40 volume point order you're going to get $25, right? Um, and then it goes up from there, depending on if they get bundles um, or if the bundles grow, that commissionable volume will grow, right? So, um, but if they just get one product out of the first four that we have, so um, as of right now, all of our points have a 40 volume point assigned to it. So if they just get one product by itself, a standalone product, you're going to get $25. So that's pretty cool, right? So I mean, how many people can you get to do that? And then you get the benefit of drop shipping. So you don't have to ship the products out. The customer is paying for shipping. The company has the product in the warehouse that they will send from their warehouse to your customer. So it's, it's beautiful. It's awesome. Okay. And so um, it's got, you know, all of the things here as far as, you know, what, what we've got now as far as the um let's see here the liquid vitamin and everything here so um the volume is a little maybe a little bit different right so you want to make sure that when you're ordering in the back office that you're actually looking at that that's going to be the most current and up-to-date volume per product but um but let's say if they get you know, something that's like $99 or you get something that's $99, that volume may be a little bit higher. So you may go up to $30 commission instead of 25. Okay, let's move on to the second. Oh, back up to retail pay. The other way that you get paid from retail is by um, having product on your shelf and you're selling it, right? So um, you can take a bag of tea and you can open it up, take the one sachet, actually you take five sachets or seven sachets and you make either a five day supply or a seven day supply and you can sell them for $5 a piece, right? So that's either 
a five-day supply for $25 or a seven-day supply for $35. And uh, if you're doing that, this box, I mean, this bag of tea costs you about $60. If you're selling each of these for $5 a piece, you're going to make 120, wait, let's see, what's 30 times five? That's $150. Um, so $150 minus the $60 you pay for it, that's 90 bucks profit from just this one bag of tea. So that's what a lot of people come in and they like to do this because you can make your money back so fast. You know, six customers, you made 90 bucks. That's pretty cool. So, so there's that. And, oh, and also you could do the same thing with the energy capsules. You, you know, I cut these up into five or seven day supplies and then I sell these as well. So same difference. And actually on these, the profit margin is a little bit better because these are a little bit lower cost than the detox tea. Okay, let's move on to number two, the quick start bonus. So Whenever you bring someone in um, and they get a particular enrollment pack, so they get either the affiliate pack, the complete pack, the personal pack, the business pack, or the builder pack, any of those three, I mean, any of those one, two, three, four, five, then you, the recruiter, are going to get a commission, a bonus. So it goes from $30 all the way up to $450, depending on what your recruit comes in at. So um, it's pretty cool if you are enrolling people and they're starting their business and the company rewards you um, just for helping them start their business. And it doesn't come out of what they would profit or anything like that. The company gives you that. Okay, so, and I just want to make sure I said everything on that. Yes, okay. Oh, also, the personal pack and the business pack, if, um, you know, let's say if you if you up if you want to upgrade you can do that um let, let's say you get the personal pack or you get the business pack and you want to upgrade to the builder pack which is the highest enrollment pack you have 60 days um to to do that so moving on to the third way of pay is binary pay okay so binary pay means once you have your active team member on the left and active team member on the right and they're at least on a 40 volume point order every month um, then you get to unlock binary pay. So you got Jim, this example, you got Jim here on your left and Jay on your right. And then you've got, um, you know, and then so Jim's got two people, Steve or Jay's got two people as well. Now the volume, it looks like Jim has $5,000 in his leg or you got from Jim's leg 5,000 points. And then from, you know, Jay's leg, you've got 2,500 points. So you're going to get paid once you're binary, you're going to get paid off that 2,500 points in volume. Um, that's because that would be your lesser leg, right? And so, um, you know, you get paid off of that. And then what happens is any excess, you know, any excess, um, commission from that 5,000 points is going to roll over to the next month. So uh, as long as you're binary, that can grow into the millions of points. It can just grow, grow, grow for you to use when you need it. So that's, that's a pretty cool thing. Uh, it's like the company doesn't forget about, you know, the work that you may have done before. So um, and you can read definitely more into that. And let's move on to the fourth way of pay. So this is binary check match pay. So once you hit director, um, which I need to tune in here because I just became director. So um, once you have hit director, anybody that you've personally enrolled um, or someone that they've enrolled, so you get to go down you get your level and then um, you know one level below that as well. Um, let's say they're building a team and they're getting paid binary. And let's say they make, uh, like with this example, they're making $300 in the binary. Um, then you're going to get $150 off of that. Um, and it doesn't come from what your, your 
direct recruit did, it comes from the company's pay. So um, you start to unlock more of profit sharing when you go into leadership with the company. So it behooves you as soon as you can to become a director. So that way you're getting more pay from the company. Okay. So we're going to move on from that to the fifth way of pay, which is profit sharing. So what happens with profit sharing is once you reach, um, once you reach triple diamond or the crown, crown diamond rank, um, you get between all of you that are ranked at that, the company gives uh, 1% split between you all as profit. So, you know, let's say the company profits for the quarter are, 1.5 million. So 1.5 million um, times 1% is 15,000. So, um, you know, depending on the, the pay rank uh, and where you are, you get split out from that depending on the percentage and everything. So um, that's pretty cool as well. It's just like, okay, well, the company's really partnering with you on that. So let's move on to uh, rank advancement. So this you want to keep close to you. I, especially if I'm going for a rank or if I'm just looking ahead, I'll look at this maybe every day just to familiarize myself with it. So we'll go over the first few levels. So you come in and you are on your 40 point monthly um, order, then that is going to make you a customer. So um, you do get eligible for the quick start bonus. So if you're recruiting people and they come in, you know, with at least that hundred dollar pack, you're going to get a quick start bonus. You don't get binary pay here. You don't get check match pay um, and you don't get profit sharing yet. Then you can move up to an associate. That means you're now bi binary qualified. You have an active team member on your left and an active team member on your right, each with at least 40 volume points every month. So all of y'all are active. Now here you do get the quick start pay and you get binary pay. So you get paid on your lesser legs volume and it's basically 10%. So let's say if your lesser leg had um, $500 or 500 volume points um, in production, then you're gonna get paid $50. So that's pretty cool, right? And you would get paid out that whatever it is weekly, you get paid that following week. And then uh, you don't get check match pay yet and you don't get profit sharing yet. Moving on, oh, and your weekly cap there is $500. And then moving on from there, supervisor. So with supervisor, um, you have to be at least on a 40 volume point per month order yourself. You have to be binary qualified. And uh, that's one person on your left active, one on your right, each with at least 40 volume points. And now is where it starts kicking in that you have to do certain volume points in production. So on your, um, on your left and your right side, you have to have at least 500 points, 500 volume points uh, on each side. And uh, so that once you do that within a month, then you qualify as supervisor. Now here you do get the quick start pay, you get the binary pay, and then you get uh, your 10% on your lesser leg, your paid leg, up to $1,000 weekly. You don't get check match here. You don't get profit sharing here. The next um, rank that I'll move into and I'll stop there is director. So here it does change a little bit. So you need uh, two products or 80 volume points uh, that you are ordering from your own back office. And then you, do, you need to be binary qualified, meaning you have one team member on your left, one team member on your right, each having at least 40 volume points. So you need 80 here to be director, but they only need 40 if they're not gonna try to be director. And then um, the requirement here to qualify for director is that you need 2000 volume points on your left leg and 2000 volume points on your right leg in a calendar month. Now here's where it gets cool because you do get quick start uh, bonuses, you get your binary pay and you get check match pay. Now you still have 10% um, payouts for your uh, binary pay at a $2,000 a week cap. And then uh, you get paid as far as check match, 50% on your 
direct recruits and then 10% on your um, second level recruits. So the people that your recruits recruited. Now here you don't get profit sharing. You don't get that until you reach down to an Oh, it says double diamond. I'm sorry, I misspoke earlier. So double diamond up to crown diamond, those are the people that have that 1% uh, profit sharing pool that they share. So um, that is understanding your volume. That was the end of that part. Now let's move into um, understanding your volume and um, the, you know, some of the frequently asked questions as far as uh, volume goes. So let me go up to just seeing basically someone here. Hold on, I'm going to use that. Okay, yeah, let me use this. Okay, so um, I think I've said it a lot. So you probably understand that you're building two teams here. You see J Jim and Jay. Um, you get paid on your lesser legs volume. Um, let me tell you what you don't get commission for. You don't get commission when a customer I'm sorry, you don't get uh, volume points that count for your rank when a customer orders from your website. Uh, I know some other companies do different things, but with us, um, because you're getting paid out a commission, you're not getting those volume points. So let's say you had a customer order, um, I don't know, five products from your site, and maybe that, so 40 times five, that's 200 uh, volume points. So let's say they ordered that. Those 200 volume points, you would not be able to count those to say, okay, well, I'm gonna use these 200 points for supervisor, doesn't work like that, okay? So, um, but if they bought those, you, they bought five products separately, then you're gonna get $25 for each of those products. Now, if they're bundled together, that uh, works a little bit differently. The bundles, let's say they do two for 99, um, that volume, I think that's 50 volume points. So you get $30 on that. Um, of course you can check that to make sure, but it's a little bit different. So um, the next thing is that you don't get um, rank volume. You don't get uh, rank volume for ordering from your own back office. Um, and so let's say if like my monthly order is 40 volume points, let's say I'm on the Valet 30. I love that. That's actually my favorite product. And I have 40 volume points that I'm ordering. I can't use that to count for supervisor. It's almost like you can't double dip, right? So you can't like say, well, I ordered this. I should be supervisor. No rank volume counts from what your downline does, their production. So um, without like saying too much, I will say that the volume flow, and this is, you know, known, volume flows up. So anybody um, in your downline, left leg, right leg, that volume is gonna flow up to you. So um, let's say, uh, J here. So, so even with this example here on the screen, um, you got 5,000 volume points coming from that leg and 2,500 coming from the other leg. None of that counts. Um, the actual head persons, uh, let's see what his name is. I don't even know what they said his name was. I can't even see, but um, whoever the head person. So we'll just say that's you. Oh, that's you. Yeah. So you, it doesn't count what you ordered from your back office. It's only counting what back office orders come from your downline. So, um, you know, what the company does allow at the time of this recording is if um, there needs to be orders placed under, you know, your downline, um, you know, then that's something so that the volume points can flow up. So um, if you need help with that and you're going for a rank, we can definitely talk more about that piece of it. And then let me see here. Let me see what else were frequently asked questions from people. Um, okay, so the people on your outside legs, that is how the volume flows up. So if you can see, um, there's like from starting with you, there's Jay, and then to Jay's right, which is Sue, 
Sue is on the outer leg. Sue is on your outer leg. Jay is on your outer right leg. Sue and Jay are on your outer right leg. Steve is on uh, your inner right leg, right? So um, as we think of volume and how it flows up, let's say if Sue places an order, that volume is not gonna go to Steve, it's gonna go up to Jay and it's gonna go up to you. But Steve is, because he's on the inside of a leg, is um, technically kind of on his own, right? But if Steve places an order, it goes up to Jay. And it does also go up to you because um, you're getting, as long as you're binary, you're getting uh, all the volume from whatever happens on your right leg. So what will have to happen is as you recruit people, you can do one of two things. You know, either you help Steve with how to recruit people so that he can build his own downline and then he's got volume flowing up to him from his people. Or once you see Steve is serious, you see, okay, he's gotten binary and he's got a few more people going. Then as you recruit people, you can place them, they'll still be your personal recruits, but you can place them uh, on under Steve, you know, under his um his organization to build him up. So you can do that as well. Um, same thing on the left side, um, Jim is on your outer left leg. It's, I mean, he's, he's just starting. So he's on your left, but also outer left. And then Al is also on your outer left leg. So anything that Al does flows up to Jim and flows up to you as well. Um, Anything that Al does, it will not flow to Trey. Trey is on the inner left leg. But anything that Trey does will flow up to you um, because that is still part of your organization. They're still on your left and your right legs. Now, what you get paid from, of course, is going to be your lesser leg. Um, but the volume still counts uh, for rank and everything like that because you've got to, whenever we go back to this chart here remember as you hit supervisor director and on um 500 dollars or 500 points say for supervisor has to be on your left leg and your right leg not just one leg so just want to make that clear and uh, let's see what other major questions are normally asked i think that's that's pretty much it. Oh, you do get a quick start bonus for um, any team members that you recruit, no matter if they're on your left side, your right side, like it's just, you get that. Um, yeah, I think that's it. If you have any other questions, um, you can definitely drop those in the comments of this YouTube video. That way it can be a learning experience for everybody. Um, and then we can go through it. And if I don't have the answer, you know, of course, I can reach out to the company and see um, what, you know, what the answer for that is. So, okay, so let's move on from that to um, compliance do's and don'ts. Okay, so let me stop sharing my screen. Okay, so first thing with compliance, and we talked about this in the last video, but um, you do not want to mention buzzwords that are like COVID. You don't want to mention coronavirus. You don't want to mention COVID-19. You don't want to mention, and this is not on there, but I'm going to just say it just so you stay away from it. You don't want to mention pandemic or quarantine. Anything that would um, trigger people into placing an order out of fear, um, because, you know, everybody's uncertain or scared for the pandemic, the Federal Trade Commission or FTC has said that we cannot do that. So you don't want to catch any fines that, you know, are passed on to Tava because somebody heard you in a video say the wrong word. Okay, so just stay away from that. You can find that information on the home screen when you log into your Tava back office. You can also find that in the policies and procedures, uh, which is actually on your website homepage at the bottom. And so don't do that. The next thing is 
um, medical claims. We don't make medical claims. Um, so we can't say, you know, these products cure cancer. We can't say that these products cure diabetes. Um, you can't say those things. So what you can say is, um, I can't make any medical claims, but this is someone's testimony. This is what happened with them, you know, um, or they can share their testimony, but um, you cannot say, oh, it's because of the Taba products that this person was healed from X, Y, or Z illness or disease. So please stay away from that, you know. Um, and then the next thing is you cannot make income claims, okay? So you can't say, well, um, I, yeah, you can't make income claims. So you can't say, you know what, I made in my Taba business a um, million dollars in a week, you know, or I made $200 this week. And the reason why is because you don't want people to be just driven by the money to where they sign up with you and they're expecting to make $200 in a week or a million dollars in a week because you said it, you know, well, she said that I was going to make a million dollars in a week and results vary. So you don't want to even get on that. Now, what I've seen people do is some people say, you know, um, you know, that they've earn common money that, you know, results aren't typical, but they've, you know, earned common money or they've earned more in a week than they earn at their, you know, regular job in a month or in a year or something like that. But, you know, just stay away from that. What you can do is you can talk about the lifestyle um, that you, you know, have been able to achieve from your Tava business. You can talk about um, some things that your family's able to do. Maybe you've, you know, taken a trip that you've always wanted, or maybe you were able to do all the repairs on your house, or, you know, it helped you to get out of debt or things like that. You can use life situations. Um, we don't want to make weight loss claims. Okay. So there is a specific amount of weight that you cannot say. Um, let me, hold on, I'm going to see if I can pull it up here. Just a second, just a second, just a second. Mm. Let's see. Okay, I can't find it just yet. Um, can't find it, but basically, you so the the whole like there's this tagline going around of five pound lose five pounds in five days we got to stop saying that okay if you say that take that out if that's in your social media bio take that out if you got a t-shirt with that throw that away now what you can say is let me help you lose your next five pounds okay but you can't put a time frame on it and you can't make people think that oh i dropped 30 pounds in a week and you can't make people b believe that it was all due to Tava, right? Because we are not a weight loss company. We are a health and wellness company. Um, and sometimes weight loss, of course, is a benefit to being at your optimal health and, and everything, but um, we don't do that. So um, you can tell about your testimony and you can just, but you need to always put in um, in writing, let's, so let's say you do um, a before and after picture and you have like um, 200 pounds and then you have, you know, 180 pounds and maybe you put dates on it. So the dates thing is where it, it gets hairy, right? So you put dates on it. You want to make sure that you put on the picture so um, that, you know, results aren't typical and that, you um, due to, you know, it's diet and exercise that will really help you reach your weight loss goals, that sort of thing. So the diet and exercise piece has to be in there somewhere. So um, just stay away from dates, but you can tell your story personally of what happened with you. But again, you know, you want to say, this is my testimony. This is not a weight loss or medical claim. Okay. Or you can just show before and after pictures. You don't even have to talk about, about it. And then um, you want to make sure that you 
um, ask before you post someone's before and after pictures. So if it's on like Tava's um, site, so like if you if you have it on the Tava Lifestyle Headquarters Facebook page, you've seen it there, or you've seen it in the Tava Lifestyle uh, Instagram page, then you can use that. But if it's just, maybe you just saw some weight loss before and after, and even if it says Tava on it, like in someone else's post, don't just take that post for face value because people will call you out on it. They'll inbox you like, why did you use my picture? That wasn't for Tava. And then you'll be like, well, somebody else had the post up about that it was from Tava. So I just thought, so don't assume that it's from Tava. Ask that person, reach out to them and ask, hey, can I use your, your photo you know, for before and after pictures? And then if you see it in the group, so let's say you are in our, um, our chat group or our uh, Facebook group, then you can use those within that because those will be verified by the representatives. And then the last thing, I'm just trying to make sure I get everything. Uh, the last thing is you want to make sure that you're enrolling people to sell the products and not just to buy the products at a discount, right? So that's technically not a business. So it's technically not all the way ethical. Um, so you want to make sure that you explain to them that, you know, this is a business. Um, this is something that if you make a certain amount of income that you will get a 1099 for those sorts of things. So they need to understand that um, they would be in this to make money, not just to be a customer getting things at a discount. That way um, you save yourself from, you know, tax issues and all that stuff down the road. So if you have any other questions, you know, you can ask me or your upline if I'm not your upline. So. I think that is all for today. We will um, pick back up with the next training later. Bye.